I can remember, I've had dreams that have come true. I've seen spirits and energies. And I knew things about people that there's no way I could know them. So it wasn't until I went to college when I started researching what I believe spiritually that I realized that these things I was experiencing were truly psychic phenomena and different from what other people experience. Um, and when I realized that, oh, I was psychic and a medium my entire life. I actually do believe everyone is psychic. Um, the way I usually explain it is uh, using my basketball reference. Um, everybody, for the most part, can hold a ball. You may just have to sit in your lap. Um, you know, and as the skill gets greater, fewer and fewer people have that ability. So, you know, fewer people are able to bounce or actually play in a game. And as you get to professional level, where people with lots of natural ability and lots of practice and um, skill are, you know, the professionals, the professional basketball players. So much like psychic ability, I believe everybody has that intuition or that inner knowledge. And as you practice, like I have through readings and taking classes and testing myself, um, I have my abilities and my strengths have grown. I actually still sometimes do go to a psychic uh, when I can't quite see things for myself or I just need a little validation for the feelings that I'm getting. Um, I have made the mistake of going to someone with a sign outside her door that said psychic, which uh, when I went in I was vulnerable, I was feeling very insecure and I was heartbroken. And she told me I had a curse and asked for lots of money. And I walked out feeling still vulnerable, still emotional, still heartbroken, and not sure what I was supposed to believe. But that's a whole other story. The best way to find a good psychic is to ask somebody you trust, a family member, a friend, a coworker, who's already been to see that person and can give you word of mouth that they're, you know, the real deal. So I can tell I've had a good reading if I walk out feeling empowered, feeling like the information they gave me helped me to make a decision rather than them having told me what I should do. Um, feeling like even if something was, they saw something have been positive that they gave me a way to change my future, to turn it around. I also think it's important that they're able to validate information that there's no way they could have known. Say the name of a grandmother, um, the fact that you're going back to school, or what you do for a living, or you know, what you eat for dinner, something they there's no way to look up. Um, and you should also walk out feeling good. You should never walk out feeling worse than when you walked in. The best example I can give is that um, you know, once a month I can co-conduct a message circle with another psychic medium. And oftentimes one of us will pick up on a spirit that the other one doesn't. And to me that doesn't mean that one of us is a stronger psychic medium than the other. It just means that oftentimes spirit or your guides will use a specific person to pass that message on to you because they are the best person to convey the information, whether it's because of relatability or experiences or even just the way that they their language works, that they're able to be more gentle or maybe be more silly, whatever it is that you need in order to best receive that message. I know I don't believe your future is set in stone. I do believe that we come here with certain goals and lessons that we need to learn. However, 
if, say, you receive a reading and they tell you something is going on, you can decide to change your path right then and there. So if they're talking about a bad relationship you're having, whether it's with a loved one or a coworker, and they say, you know, this is, this is how you approach the situation, this is how they approach the situation, and it's never going to get better. Well, if you see how you both approach the situation, and decide I'm going to change my action or reaction, then you can change the relationship, which therefore you've changed your future. I hope you found this video informative. Please check out our website for all the information of our next expo. All the dates and times and whereabouts are there. We hope to see you there.